Well, guys, it's the moment that we've all been waiting for. The most powerful superhero, according to Entertainment Weekly, is <laughs> Wonder Woman. I love that. I love that so much because it, it really, I mean, when I saw the trailer for the upcoming movie, I, as a woman, I was just thrilled, you know, because I feel like we, women are at a place where we're redefining what it means to be feminine, redefining what it means to be a lady, what it means to be a woman. Um, and I think films like this, and even the women in Luke Cage, you know, you see all of them are played really strong and really intense. We're just, it's just, like I said, for the other, it's just time, mm -hmm. honestly. Um, I think people want to see what they relate to. And as a woman, as a woman who's strong, as a woman who is intense, who's complex, I, I get excited seeing films like this because I feel I connect to her, you know, more than, a, than seeing a film where a woman is, is portrayed as weak or portrayed, you know, incorrectly. So, mm. yeah, I'm excited. I can Frank, what's you. your take on Wonder Woman taking the top spot? I think the lady is spoke. <laughs> 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 uh, you know, well, Wonder Woman will soon inspire uh, a new generation of fans in the first standalone film uh, for this superhero, which mm -hmm. hits theaters next June. How important is the reemergence of Wonder Woman 75 years after her debut? Well, I think it's enormous. She, she, she's a, a character with terrific history, and 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 uh, the only memory a lot of people have of her was it was a. TV show that was was done before you know an ancient show that's only shown in rare reruns, mm -hmm. um, and it's 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 a uh, but she she's of all the comic book characters it's, that's the that's the only lady in the bunch, mm -hmm. and so naturally she's the one that would emerge and for her to have her own um, feature will be a tremendous opportunity to bring in all the mythological context the character has and 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 and, and and then they'll, they'll learn what a, what a heroine is in, in, in ancient Greek terms. A lot of whole reintroductions of the role of a woman in a heroic, heroic role, which they understood back in ancient Greece better than we seem to. Sean, talk to us about uh, Wonder Woman's number one uh, ranking in the <coughs> EW list of superheroes. Um, we're really proud of this decision. Um, we think we're at a point, and there's a major culture shift happening. You look at the fact that the Star Wars movies are now headed by women. Um, Wonder Woman is finally getting her own uh, film, which is both awesome and shocking that it has taken this long. When you think about all the superhero movies that you've seen your entire life, the fact that it's never happened. I remember having a discussion with a studio executive years ago where they said, the problem with Wonder Woman or getting her to make her a character on screen is that you have to decide whether you make her an empowerment icon for women or a fantasy for men. The idea that those two things could not coexist is exactly what was wrong. And I feel like our culture um, with the Hunger Games and everything else has sort of finally bridged that idea that a woman can be strong and hot. And no matter what your orientation or what your own gender, you can find something to identify with her. Gal Gadot um, can be whenever she wants to be, okay? Yes, she yeah. can. Yep. Yes, she can. Anywhere, she can. anytime. Yeah. Yeah. Anywhere, she can be whatever <laughs> she wants to be. She's amazing. Um, <laughs> But yeah, we think, I mean, the other thing that's really interesting to me about woman, Wonder Woman and her mythology is that she is raised on an island and in a culture with no men. Mm -hmm. And so she is not, her sense of self is not in any way ident identified or in relation to or in reaction to men. And it's, that's also kind of a, I think, a wish fulfillment or a fantasy for when you think about, as a woman, who would you be if you had never had to react to or fight against sexism or a male gaze or whatever that is. And I think that's a really fascinating idea too. And you see them playing with that a little bit in the trailer.